Hello beauties and welcome back to my channel. I hope all of you had a wonderful 4th of July because I absolutely did. But today I am going to be showing you guys my Bath and Body Works collection. I don't have a huge collection of Bath and Body Works because with my perfume collection being as large as it is, I, I do prefer to spray perfumes over like body sprays and stuff like that. But I do have a special use for my body sprays. Without further ado, let's get right into my Bath and Body Works collection. And this first set that I have is the Japanese Cherry Blossom, the body spray, and I also have it in the lotion. And you guys, right now, I haven't sprayed this in quite a while because... Let's get right into the keynotes of Japanese Cherry Blossom. You have Japanese Cherry Blossom, Asian Pear, Fresh Mimosa Petals, White Jasmine, and Blushing Sandalwood. I don't know. I'm really not digging this scent. So I've, I've had this for quite some time and I barely use it. Like you can see how much is gone. Well, the, the lotion and the body spray is kind of has really never been used because I'm really not digging this scent. When I bought it. I kind of was just trying to get the sale and I believe it was like six for a certain $30 or something like that. So I was just trying to get the deal and I just grabbed this and I smelled it. And my husband said, oh, it smells okay. It's decent. And I did grab it and I, I sprayed this one time. I am not a fan of this. So I do have a special thing that I'm going to do with all of these fragrances that I really don't care for. And that has just pretty much sat and have gotten no use in my collection. And these are one of them, unfortunately. But, I mean, it's not a bad scent. It's just, it's not my cup of tea. I really, mm, I don't know. I, I really, I knew after I sprayed it when I got home, I didn't, I didn't really too much care for it. So it just has sat in my collection. And again, this is the Japanese Cherry Blossom. If there is something that you like about this Japanese cherry blossom comment down below and let me know what you liked about it or what you don't like about it but to me it's just it's almost too perfumey for me it just has something in it you guys and I'm just it's just kind of cloying a little a little bit so that's probably why she just sits there but yeah so she's going to go in that special pile but this again is the Japanese cherry blossom and this next scent is an absolute favorite for me. And it is a warm vanilla sugar, you guys. <laughs> I... Keynotes for warm vanilla sugar is intoxicating vanilla, white orchid, sparkling sugar, fresh jasmine, and creamy sandalwood. I love this. And this is like, oh wow. This is so strong and heavy on vanilla. It's very warm so and it, it is definitely sweet but I really really like the warm vanilla sugar but I am about over halfway done with this and I just bought this not too long ago and the body spray as well but what I do with this lotion and this spray you guys I use these sprays not as a body spray but as a bed spray I spray my bed with these I don't I don't want to wear vanilla by itself I want it to be mixed with other things and this is to me just straight up vanilla, but I definitely use these as room room and bed sprays. So whenever I spray my bed, I usually spray my bed down like once a week when I change my sheet. I usually spray my room because I like my room to be nice and cool and I turn up my air high in my bedroom so it can be nice and chilled. It's kind of strange, but I love sleeping with a heavy blanket even in the summertime. I love like a goose down comforter. So I absolutely love this scent and just this with the crisp, cool this smells heavenly and my husband enjoys the scent as well so this warm vanilla sugar will forever be in my collection I will always keep buying this and now as for the lotion you guys this is a perfect layering lotion for when you moisturize your skin and before you put on perfume this enhances any vanilla scent like any of my uh, Juicy Couture fragrances, I use this. And also with my Paco Rabanne, I put on this lotion mixed with oil. I always use coconut oil too on my skin for moisturization. But I always mix it with this lotion. Whenever I'm wearing a really, really strong vanilla scent, it helps the scent last for a long time. So I definitely love this warm vanilla sugar. And she will forever be in my collection. 
And this next set is the Magic in the Air. You guys, this is such a fresh, clean, light floral scent. The keynotes for Magic in the Air is Almond Flower, Sparkling Parisium, White Iris, Whipped Vanilla Bourbon, and Fluffy Sandalwood. I absolutely adore this. This this is really, really nice. And again, I do use this as a room spray and this lotion. When I wear this lotion, you guys, I usually don't wear perfume with this because this is fresh enough to wear by itself. But I love to put this on my feet and my legs, like for the freshness. And it, it, it just leaves an alluring scent. I love this magic in the air. The white flowers in this smells so divine. I absolutely love this set. And I use these frequently and I would say I use this more after I take my shower before I go to bed I usually put this on my legs and it's really this this is really really smooth and very very good for after you shave I love to put this on my legs and my feet it just moisturizes my skin so so well and I absolutely love this one for that and these will forever be in my collection as well as long as they're sold by Bath and Body Works I would definitely ha have this in my collection and again this is magic in the air and it is an absolute love. And this last set that I want to show you guys is the Sweet Pea. Keynotes for Sweet Pea are Sweet Pea, Watery Pear, Sheer Freesia, Luscious Raspberry, and a Soft Musk. And OMG, this is such a beautiful scent. And I use this sweet pea, you guys, and I usually had this in my bathroom. I also love this in to spray in my bedroom as well. And this is so pretty. And you can see, this is kind of new. I just kind of picked this one up. I absolutely love this. And I think this serves well as a room spray. I like to spray in my closet as well because it, it just leaves a nice aroma. The sweet Peas just smells good in itself. So I absolutely love this scent. And I definitely use this as a room spray as well as a closet and bathroom spray. Now, as far as this lotion, this again is a layering lotion and this works very, very well with Guess Girl because it has that sweet, that sweet, that sweet fruity scent. And I, and you guys know I featured this a couple of times and I absolutely love this scent from Guess Girl. This sweet pea lotion with this is bomb.com and it also, this lotion also helps these fragrances to last and if you enjoy the smell or the scent of sweet pea definitely try if you have guest girl try these two together and they will last for a long time so whenever i wear guest girl i definitely use my sweet pea lotion and i actually even have the body wash and the shower gel for guest girl but you guys these do not do as well as the sweet pea i much prefer using this sweet pea with that fragrance because this this works better this is more more thicker and more moisturizing than the lotions and shower gel that actually came with Guess Girl. And another fragrance that I actually wear with this is this Vince Camuto Fiori. I do have the set, the um, the lotion and the shower gel for Fiori, but you guys, this works better. And this does have that sweet pea scent in it. So you put these two together, this will amplify this scent. And as a matter of fact, I did wear this on the 4th of July and I smelled, I just kept smelling this good whiff of freshness that was so appealing if you do not have sweet pea next time you go to bath and body works definitely try it i'll give it a sniff and also if you do have it try to use this as a layer with vince camuto fury and also with guest girl and i know those guest girl and fury are dupes for chanel chance otandre but you guys that is the reason why I haven't bought Chanel Chance because I have two fragrances that's, that are dupes for that scent and I smell that scent several times and I always come back to the same thing like it's the same scent as Guess Girl and Vince Camuto Fiori so that's why I haven't bought Chanel Chance. Definitely try using, the, try using this lotion to help layer those fragrances so they will last longer. 
So. That does conclude my Bath & Body Works collection. I hope that you enjoyed my collection. And also, if you have not tried any of these, that I really highly recommend that you try these. And also, if there are some that you guys really, really love, be sure to leave it down in the comments of what's your favorites from Bath & Body Works because I am definitely interested to, to know and what I should try to smell once I go back to Bath & Body Works. But I do really appreciate you tuning in. And to all my new subscribers, a welcome. And thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and also to my subscribers that has been with me since day one thank you so much I really really appreciate all of your comments so if you definitely enjoy my content and you're on the fence of subscribing honey I don't know what you're waiting for so thank you so much for watching and have a beautiful day